Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of August general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a person reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Scorpio, I'm not sure I've ever had this song before for the channel, but I did get... um. Comfortable by Lil Wayne featuring Babyface. And that's kind of an odd pairing if you think about it. Just their style of music. And I feel like, especially with the name Comfortable, somebody that you may have connected with, you guys could be completely different. Like, it, it could be a completely different rapport between your energy and theirs. But somehow you guys make each other comfortable and it's a perfect merging. Because if you listen to the song, again, the name of the song is Comfortable by Lil Wayne and... um. Babyface, it actually is a good song. I like it. But it's like you wouldn't think that those two could merge those songs together, but it actually works. They find a way to make it work. So that's that could be a situation that you're dealing with. But also in a song, he says in a hook, baby girl, don't you ever get too comfortable. So somebody may be, you know, you could be dating someone. You could be in a relationship, a long-term relationship with someone. And I've, I see this often with couples. Like, people will get comfortable. And, of course, you should be comfortable in your relationship, but people get too comfortable and they start to let themselves go. And some of you all may be dealing with that in a relationship also. Either your person may be saying this to you or you may be saying this to them. And then also, as far as if you're single, you can feel like people are too comfortable coming at you sideways. Like, the way people approach you is, like, not like a gentleman, not like a lady. Like, they just, you know, dating is trash to you now for some reason. You feel like people are too comfortable Allowing social media to dictate what relationships and things like that look like. So that could be a topic that you're dealing with as well during this time. Now, Little Wayne happens to be a Libra and Babyface happens to be an Aries. So you could be dealing with a Libra or Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual. Also, if you are single, you could be meeting somebody in Libra season, which is September, October time frame. Okay? So, let's see what we get from a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both of those cards, okay? So currently at the bottom of the deck, look, somebody is getting some um, enlightenment about a situation. You have one of our divine counterparts here. So some of y'all could definitely be married to this person. The Hierophant talks about traditional unions, marriages, um, contracts as far as, you know, your soulmate and soul ties. Again, he is one of our divine counterparts. You have the emperor and the empress, and then you have the hair font and the high priest. So this could definitely be, especially with that song, Comfortable, this could definitely be someone that you're married to or you've been with this person for so long that it seems like you guys are married. You see how he has the gray hair? The gray hair dictates like age and time. So you may have been with someone for a very long time, and this person is like, they just gotten so comfortable that they don't groom themselves the same way that they used to or they don't give you certain attention or something just seems like a stagnant here. And you want to call attention to it for some of you all, okay? Taurus energy with the hair font. So let's go ahead and go through the deck and get you guys made our kind of again. It is the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and a card that comes after. Four Scorpio, Summon Rise, and Venus individuals. Seven of Swords, Lion, Cheetah, Manipulator, Sneak, Canaver. Somebody may be comfortable looking dead in somebody's face and lying about things also. You could have found out that this person may have been a, a little manipulative and, well, not even a little, a lot. This person think they slick as a fox, okay? Um, someone also could have red hair. Someone's favorite color could be red. Someone could resonate with uh, being a, a, what do you call it, brunette. I just heard Beretta. Somebody either has a Beretta, somebody had a Beretta car. I don't even think they make those still, do they? I know when I was in high school, you know, <laughs> all the cool guys had the Berettas. So someone may have had a Beretta or also someone could have a Beretta, the actual gun. Like somebody could be a concealed carry or collects guns because it looks like he's collecting knives here, which is weapons. Somebody may be, um, like to collect weapons. You know, also, and I'm not saying like in a negative way, this is like, you know, they just like to collect weapons. Some people are like that. <clears throat> But with the Seven of Swords, that's Liar, Cheetah, Manipulator, Sneak, Conniver. Somebody is too comfortable. You see how it doesn't even look like he's... It looks like he's tiptoeing his way out, but it's like he also is looking back like, yeah, I said it. Like somebody's too comfortable lying straight to someone's face about things. You know, I'm getting it also. So let's go through the deck and see. Yeah, see, it's going to cause drama. Five of Swords. I mean, I'm sorry, Five of Wands, Conflicts, Arguments, Disagreements. So again, we want to get your Major Arcana. Let's get the Death card. Card that comes before, card that comes after for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Hmm. 
I'm hearing it again. Baby girl, don't you ever get too comfortable. Hmm. And in the beginning of the hook, he says, to the left, to the left. And he starts a song out, like, how Beyonce's song is, um irreplaceable that's what he's saying like don't get too comfortable because i can replace you real quick i will move on <laughs> and this could be you saying that okay right in front of you you have the chariot traveling moving and going in a different direction if you notice her home the pyramids is behind her which means she's moving away from it so some of you all are like okay if i find out something that or finding out something that doesn't sit right with you you may want to move on and end the situation cutting ties with that individual that sword is up, sword up is just sword down is no. Also, this is communication, talking about something that is really like just blowing your mind. I'm just looking at how these birds are circling her and it makes me think about that cuckoo clock. You know how to, it's like that old fashioned clock and the bird jumps out and says cuckoo, cuckoo. Like something that's making you crazy. Like you've been thinking about it a lot. Swords, communication, and mental. Something that has you in your head a lot. And again, I'm going to say, one. see, you got two cards of like wanting to move away from something. Literally, I want you to listen to the song. In the beginning of the song, he starts off by saying, to the left, to the left. And he, it was like a reference to Beyonce's song, Irreplaceable, where, you know, in a hook of song, she says, to the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box, to the left. In other words, like, you can get your shit and go. Or you may be saying, you know what, I'll pack my shit and I'll go. Because, again, she's moving away from the, the home, the, in the background, the castle, the pyramids. But it doesn't look like she's suffering because of it. Somebody's like, if, some, if you get too comfortable with a situation, if you get too comfortable where, say for instance, if you are very old school, like the hair font that we seen earlier, if you're very old school and you got in a relationship where you expected this woman to, this woman or man or whoever, however it resonates with you, if you expect your person <clears throat> to have old school values, like the woman cooks and cleans every single day or this, that, and other stuff, and this person gets too comfortable and stops doing that, you may be like, yeah, it's time for me to cut you. Cause you lose. I gotta turn you loose because that's what I expected when I got in this relationship. And if I'm not getting that, then I want to leave. It could be likewise if you are a female where you could feel like, okay, the man provides and pays for, you know, pays all the bills and and all I do is cook and clean and raise the kids. And then I doing that, you be like, okay, I'm ready to turn you loose. Gotta send you back to the streets. Okay. Somebody may be thinking that. Now, I'm not saying that that's the logical thing. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up energetically here. Bottom of the deck, you got the four of pentacles holding on for dear life. Um, Somebody may be getting comfortable with um, tucking money away. I, now, see, this may sound weird, but little by little, somebody could be hiding money, tucking money, stacking funds. Somebody finds out about it. Also, like I said, somebody's holding on to some old school um, ideas about how they want things to be. Because Pinnacle talks about your roots, the structure, the foundation. Somebody wants that foundation, that old school foundation. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just getting like somebody may have forgotten their agreement when they got in a relationship now if you're completely single it looks like you got somebody coming in and this person knows for a fact what it is they want and they're going to tell you exactly what they want and they're going to tell you like look if you can't abide by this or you can't do this or this is not something that you feel like resonates with you then i, I you know i can move on and go in a different direction so i'm getting two messages with it but it's all tied into the same energy it's part of the deck again woo! so again do you did you look here Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, manipulated, sneaking knife. It's almost say some of you guys feel like you were bamboozled. You feel like this person said, "I'm this is the type of person I am. This is what I want. This is what I'm about," and they lied. Some of you guys feel like you have been bamboozled, run amok, and led astray. Just seen the Sun card, and, you, and this could be coming out in, or it came out in Leo season, or before Leo season wraps up. This is going to be a topic that you and this person has to deal with, especially if you're dealing with someone already. Bottom of the deck, yeah, working together. Three of Pentacles working, establishing, building something. See, contracts. That's what I'm saying. Somebody wants that old school type of foundation. Again, Pentacles is about the foundation. And, and somebody's also saying like, okay, I'm not going to play house with you. Either we're going to get married because this could be like a contract. Either we're going to get married or I'm gone. Don't get too comfortable. And see, that makes a lot of sense also, especially, I'm not going to say just women are like that, but it's predominantly women. If you notice here, you got nothing but women here. Women could be like, you know, that's a big thing for women. Like, I'm not going to play house. I'm not going to cook, clean, raise your kids, do this, do that. And there's no ring on my finger. Where's the contract? Where's the where's the binding? Where's the legal binding? Where's the marriage uni unity there? Because see, a queen is always going to look for a king. She's not going to look for a page. She's not going to look for a knight. She's going to look for somebody who's on the same level as her. Or him. Again, put it in flipping how it applies for your situation. That's going to clarify for the chariot, for Scorpio, summon rising Venus individuals. Okay, look, you see how that flew out. You have the hermit seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. And I just heard very clearly someone is the, does not have knowledge of self. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> the moon, things hidden, things unknown, things you don't have clarity about. And the charity, you know, okay, I'm going to put them all right here. Let me tell you something. 
major, 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 major queen. You have nothing but high ranking energy here. You got the the um, and I almost said justice. So some of you guys can be dealing with Libra. You do have the Queen of Swords here. Um, and I did mention Lil Wayne is a Libra, but you have Cancer energy here twice. So I feel like two people are on two different paths here. Two different two people are on two different paths here in the situation. And it has to come to light one way or another. For some of you all, this may come to light during um, the super full moon that we have coming up um, August 30th. For some of you all, it has already been illuminated by that August 1st new moon. Or the, I'm sorry, super full moon. And then for some of you, the August new moon and on the 16th. So you have super full moon on the 1st. You got a new moon on 16, and then you have another super full moon on the 30th of this month. But some of y'all, these moon phases, because you know the moons, the veil is clear. You can see things for what it truly is. This makes me think about the veil. You see how it's all wavy and like the veil is being cleared. Because someone didn't see it before. Because this is seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. Somebody didn't see it before. But you're realizing, like, okay, this person ain't talking about growth. This person isn't talking about moving forward. Because the chariot, you got chariot twice. It's talking about moving forward. But I keep getting like it's two people that are together that are on two different paths or you were with someone and it was on different paths and, and you didn't see it before because again the moon is upright so it's like that's kind of hidden in reverse it's like it's coming to the light because when the sun when the moon goes down the sun comes up and the sun talks about enlightenment seeing something clearly so for some of you all like i said you could still be in that place right now and then something about this super because super you know that's double the energy that super new moon I keep saying new moon. Some of you guys should have did some type of ritual or some type of, if you work with that energy, moon energy, you should have worked with that energy on the 16th. And if you did, I feel like you're going to have double the, whatever you were trying to manifest, you're getting double. Because I keep wanting to say super uh, new moon instead of full moon. But again, these moon phases were very prominent for a lot of y'all. And I'm going to say this super full moon is coming up on the 30th. I feel like it's going to be very revealing. It's going to be very revealing. Stuff is going to come to the surface. You see how lobsters come to the surface. Things are going to come to the surface. And for you or this person to address or both of you guys together to address, things are going to get addressed. Listen to that song again. The name of the song is um, Comfortable by Lil Wayne and Babyface. Listen to the song. Because even the song, the, the beat is not crazy. Like when you think about Lil Wayne, you think about rapping. The beat is not crazy. It's actually like a symphony sounding you know, melody. And it's like somebody, I feel like when it comes to matters of heart on a, you know, one of those type of bases, somebody's just realizing like, we are not on the same path. A hermit has to seek, uh, seek knowledge on his own. He has to go on hermit mode, which means he has to do it alone. And so some of you may realize or feel like, okay, it's time for me to go alone on this journey in my life right now. Or there's something about this relationship that I have to deal with alone. Some of you guys may be thinking about going to counseling to deal with your part and whatever's going on in this situation. Because it's major, 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 major queen. This, this is major. And I'm not pointing to this because that's the one, you know, the card that we're getting the energy for. But you have four majors here. For some of you guys, within the next four days, someone's birthday could be in April. Someone could have a strong four in their birthday, the 4th, the 24th, 14th. Somebody's birthday could be. I also heard something very significant with Valentine's Day as well. Made, you know, something stood out for you this year. Like, say, for instance, if they didn't do anything for you and they know you love Valentine's Day, you may have, you know, kind of let that slip. But in the back of your mind, it was bother you that this person doesn't see love or see things the same way that you do. And that's something that you, it, it could have been bothering you for a while. This also would be like keeping things to yourself. You got to let that out. Or else if you don't speak up, Cause she's here and ready to speak up. If you don't speak up, it's not going to heal. It's not going to get any better. You can't move forward. You can't move forward. You can't move forward. Someone is definitely dealing with strong cancer here. Or someone who has strong cancer and placements in their chart. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay? So, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click the notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.